Hi, shalom everyone. My name is Johanna, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, for today, um, my vlog is about things people don't know about me. Mm. Yes, so I ask um, people who are close to me since I was a kid and when I'm growing up, um, like my parents, my auntie, um, my classmates when I was in grade school and as well um, in high school and college. And um, these are my friends from the Philippines and Singapore when I was um, living there. So here are some of the things that most people don't know about me okay let's begin first hi everyone i'm abby hill i'm johanna's friend i know her as trianca Teen. we were classmates since kindergarten until grade six we were friends ever since one thing you does not know about her is she sings, but the song doesn't like her. I remembered during the music period when we sing one by one, she were nervous because she knew she would lose the tone. Um, but I know now that she loves to sing because she sings praises and worship to our God. God bless you more, my friend. <laughs> So that was Abigail. She is my um she is one of my closest friends when I was in um when I was in grade school. So Aww. we were classmates since um kindergarten until grade six. And yeah, so she remembered this one event um when uh, we need to sing during our I think it's our music subject in grade school to to sing a song in front of every one of your classmates and I was I was very I'm, I'm very afraid always that I will miss the tune you know <laughs> because I am not really a, a good singer I don't know why but you know I came from a family of singers <laughs> You know, like my cousin, they, 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 they sing in the choir and they have a very good voice. Also, my dad loves to sing, but I don't know. I, maybe I'm not so much like musically inclined, but to tell you honestly, I have it in my family. Like I have a family that are singers, that really good singers. So maybe I need to work out on it. <laughs> so yeah, so... Abigail, she is one of my closest friends when we were in grade school and you know every time that um, I'm going back home and we are always walking together because it is my house first and then uh, her house more in you need to walk more because he lives in another barangay I don't know guys if you know the word barangay but um, it's like a small unit of a community which is it reaches like we have a municipality we have the town mon uh, town uh, city town uh, or municipality which is lemery and then we have this small unit more which is barangay so i live in a matingain one and abigail live in a balanga balanga it's like another barangay so yeah so i really miss this during those times so yeah so abigail i love you and thank you for for uh, you know sharing your thoughts about me when we were in kindergarten until grade six and that yeah but this is the truth that most people don't know about me okay thank you for that i miss you and take her always Aww. next johan and i uh, met last year in berlin in december and we haven't had that contact with each other for about 10 years and I would say that uh, she's still the same Johanna that I know. She's still talkative. She <laughs> always just fun to be with. Aww. And it's just like those elementary days that you just have fun uh, without um, thinking about other things. And I, I just hope to catch up with her soon after this crisis. So this is Rashid. Hi Rashid. So Rashid is one of my classmates when I was in high school and and yeah so we met in Berlin last December and yeah I didn't know that it's been so long like almost 10 years that we haven't in contact with each other and then we just met in Berlin and you know Rashid and I you know in high school we are the quiet ones you know like 
we are like a no it's it, it's not that um it seems like we are a group of people which are the quiet ones <laughs> i don't know how to say that <laughs> like like Mm, I don't know how you how I can really say it, but you know he's such a good friend of mine, and he's always been there for me. And during high school, yeah, um, we've been through a lot as well, like a group projects, and and I think we have this group called Dabar Cards, where you know Dabar Cards in uh, in high school, where where all of us will um, set a date where we need to gather together and then to just catch up with each other. But you know, um, when we started to went to college and then we went to, we need to go to we finish college and then we need to work. So all of us got. Uh, dispersed into different uh, countries like some went to Singapore some went to to Europe or to United States and it's so hard to catch up once again like to be together again so I really took that opportunity that when we were traveling to to Berlin uh, last December to really oh. met him because he's working as a nurse there in a uh, I forgot the name of the city. It's he's not really from Berlin. He's what is another? What is another? No, it's not Munich. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the city that he that he's really working with. But it's not in Berlin. It's not in a Munich. But Rashid, being a very very good friend, took a train from. It's like long train ride, really, just to, to meet with us, to meet with me and Yenon. And we really had such a nice and good time. And it's really so nice to catch up with him. And, and yeah, so I just really need to know what is this uh, place in uh, Germany. Germany capitals, cities. I think it's called... I forgot the name of the city in Germany. It's not Munich, Berlin, Hamburg. No, no. Cologne. Yes, Cologne. Yeah. So, Bonn. No, before I think he was assigned to Bonn. And then he moved to Cologne. As far as I remember. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he took a train from Cologne to Berlin. Which is a long ride of train, you know. Just to meet with us. So, Rashid, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for being such a um, very, very good friend. Aww. And what you shared about people that I'm talkative. <laughs> this is so true. And, yeah. Nothing changed since we were in high school. And, yeah. So, guys, I really love to talk. I don't know. You know, like... But you know when when sometimes I need to learn my my limitations. Like if it's time to stop talking, then I should stop talking. So, but yeah, I really have fun, and I hope to see you again and to catch up with you Aww. again. And okay, okay. So the next one is my Vega. Ah, okay, oh, next yeah, yeah. is Danica. Dan you know, Danica, she is my high school classmate as well. And we are like in the bar cards with Rashid, Danica, me, and so much more. And also, Danica is one of my... Um, um roommates i guess when we were when when i went to college we went to the same school in college and then we are roommates like i don't know how i cannot remember how many years we're roommates but we're roommates before and yep hi my name is danica and i'm friends with johanna i've known her since we were in high school and back then she was still known as joanne and after high school, we went to the same university and we actually ended up as roommates. And one thing I can tell about her is that Joanne actually sleep talks. <laughs> I found out about it because one night I was studying for an exam. If I'm not mistaken, it was an anatomy exam and she was already asleep beside me because we shared the same bed. So while I was studying, Joanne suddenly laughed out loud. <laughs> so I was somewhat taken aback because I thought she was fast asleep. So when I checked on her, 
Shireen was sleeping, but she was laughing at the same time. And then she also said some things that I cannot remember anymore. So I was really trying to hold my laughter because it was so late at night and I didn't want to disturb anybody. So the next morning, I couldn't help myself but to tell her what happened and we just had a laugh about it. So that's it. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah, this is so true. I a lot of people are telling me like I I'm sleep while I'm talking while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe now I don't. I need to ask my husband, but I sleep talking. This is so true. Like since I was in a, you know, I, I want to tell you guys and to share with you guys. So something that happened when I was a child when I was a child like about I guess uh, nine or ten years old back then um, I I walk well I'm sleeping it's like sleepwalk totally sleepwalk and then I was um, um, it was like a fiesta if you know a fiesta like you know in a barangay we celebrate what you call fiesta like a patron saint you know because I grow up with all of these and these are the traditions and cultures that I grow up with I cannot remember anything about it like when I woke up they just told me that I do sleepwalking and I suddenly went to my grandma's house without knowing how they are very shocked and surprised how I was able to 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 enter the house of my grandmother and to, to go out in our own house where you you know you were sleeping and you were walking so I sleepwalk and but when I woke up I don't remember anything it's just that my mother and my grandmother and my uncle just tell me about it thank God that because I came to faith in the Lord so now you know i have more i'm covered more with the blood of yeshua with all of this i don't know <laughs> no no with more of this thing so yeah and this is so true that when i was sleeping i was really talking and it's not the first time but you know because i'm roommate with danica so she really heard heard me when i was talking while i was sleeping and i'm so sorry that you are studying and i started to talk <laughs> And I started to bother you when you were studying. I really don't mean it and I didn't know about it. But take care there because you're one of the frontliners and you really need to take care of yourself. And uh, I wish all the best for you and for your life. And thank you for being such a good friend since, um, since we were in high school and until today. And yep, so I wish you all the best and just please, please take care of yourself. Okay, so the next one is Shalom, my name is Rebecca. I'm a good friend of Johanna and I know her since college. Okay, few things that people doesn't know about her are first, she is a K-pop fanatic before. I remember oh, yeah? we have this group called Chingus and if they are Koreans, we like to talk to them, we like to make friends with them. And take note guys, the first one who will talk to them is Johanna and Chin Chin. <laughs> Second, she is very good in memorization. I remember she can memorize the one whole paragraph within mm. 5 minutes only. That's how good she is. Also, she graduated as cum laude and did listers. Third, I remember when we used to stay together here in Singapore, I scold her at night because she has this sweet tooth and she cannot tahan or she cannot go to sleep without um, eating some chocolates or sweets first. Fourth is she is not a very good fan of vegetables before but now I know she's trying to eat vegetables already. So this is so true. Like you know um first i'm really a k-pop fanatic like i really love k-pop guys like uh, to anyone um bees i don't know if uh, they are still active and but i really love k-pop before when i was in college and you know like um if there is a k-pop concert they will go to the philippines so we will go and watch them and if we will see koreans we will try to talk to them and I try actually I tried to really study Korean and I have a Korean um, book 
you know that I um, on how to learn a basic Korean. So before I can really speak Korean, to tell you honestly, but now I forgot everything. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know when you grow up I don't know it just changes but I'm really a K-pop fanatic before and I love to sing like so many <laughs> you know like all this Korean Korean uh, Korean song you know like eh, 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 to anyone so I was I was really like a fanatic of them like um, in, back in college and we can we, we even I think skip skip uh, like uh, like we just came from uh, from um from the school and then we 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 went to manila just to make sure and that we will be able to watch uh, i forgot already this k-pop boy band <laughs> but we went there just to watch it and when i see that i was like ah! i was really shouting so hard and i was really like really like a fan or something like wow it's like i just died like i was like i, I just died when he smiled at me like this boy band i forgot their name you see how time flies it's like before i was really like a fanatic now i forgot their name already so yeah, so we are really a K-pop fanatic. I, I was I was really one of them, and whenever we see Koreans, like um you know me and Chinchina, she's one of my she's she's part of our Chingu's uh, circle of friends. So we were the first one who will talk to the Koreans, and we will say, um, um uh. Uh, you see, I really forgot my Koreans. Like, like even the simple greeting that we usually tell them, like Chon uh, Joan Imnida, because before they know me as Joanne, not Johanna yet. So, you know, um, I really for totally <laughs> forgot. Now. But yeah, these are some things that people don't know about me. And secondly, is what uh, what Miali said is yeah, I love um, to memorize things. Because I love history, I love it when our subject in history, when it comes to dates, um, you know, some events, I can really memorize them. Like before, I don't know now, <laughs> but yeah, this is one thing that most people don't know about me. I love memorization. Like when you need to memorize something and and to to um to go to the to the front and tell about something like you know i remember when back in high school we even memorized the periodic table the table of the elements you know like au gold and then uh uh i <laughs> wow my gosh i totally forgot i'm getting old but all of this memorization memorization thing so also yeah, I, I really study hard back when I was in college and when I was in uh, uh, high school. But, you know, in high school, um, I, I was not really good in math. But because uh, Miele, she's my classmate when we were in college. And I took, uh, I took Bachelor of Science in Tourism. So I was a graduate of Tourism with her. And she's my classmate. And after graduating college, we went to Singapore and we became roommates as well there. We both worked there in Singapore and we both lived there in Singapore. So, um, because in tourism, you don't even have, you don't have so much math. So, you know, it's just memorization about the places. Like, we study about the structure of the airplane, also different languages. We have French, we have Mandarin. So, you know, it was really a good, um, a good course. And I really enjoyed my tourism course because, um, you can work into different field like example in an airport or in hotels and uh, i remember in college we need to do some of this um um in french like you need to make a role play when you just speak french all throughout and i remember that we film it that but now i totally <laughs> I totally forget my Mandarin, my French, to tell you guys. But you know, when I'm in college, I, I love to memorize them and to speak it because it's more in memorization. So maybe I just memorize it, but not with the heart. I don't know. Because, because I forget it totally, totally. I don't know. And also we have the book. I have a, I have a book of French and also Mandarin languages because you need it on your course. You need to learn different languages because you are in a tourism course, you know. So yeah and uh this is one thing and she is also so true of that that in singapore before i sleep 
I couldn't sleep without eating some sweets because I love sweets so much. So, which is very bad, very bad before that every time I, before I go to sleep, I need to eat some sweets. So it's really bad, Johanna, so change that. Oh, so I yeah. think now I still love sweets, but it's not so much overrated like, you know, before when we were, you know, a few years back. And as well, she mentioned that I really, I'm not, I do not like vegetables. This is so true. I'm not eating vegetables even before. And now I am trying, really, I'm trying my best to eat vegetables. But I'm not really, I, I do not like <laughs> vegetables so much. So yeah, but I need to try because vegetables are good for health. So... So guys, that's the part one and of course there's part two. So hope to see you again. Bye!